Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Laura of Laura Plans, and today we are planning for the week of October 28th through November 3rd, 2019. This week is really exciting because it is Halloween on Thursday, so we've got a lot going on to prep for Halloween. And then of course, November starts on Friday, and so we've got our Thanksgiving prep, we've got a lot of things going on, it's the last weekend of baseball, and then we've got a lot of things going on in November, so I actually will start time blocking in November, hopefully if I remember, to help me get things done that need to get done. So you'll see coming up soon that I will have time blocks for cleaning and I will have time blocks for packing and laundry because we have a lot of um, trips going on. We've got a lot of people coming to visit us. So lots going on this week and throughout the months of November, December, and January, and even into February. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I will do quite the Halloween theme this week, just like I did last week. And I might incorporate some transitions over into November. I haven't decided yet, but I will uh, I will kind of figure it out as I'm going along and when I'm finished I will come back and explain everything that I've set up.
Okay, so this is my setup for the week. So I've done a couple little things differently as far as how I set up my planner. The first thing that was different was the process. So this time I put in all of my appointments and our homeschooling and preschooling blocks of time. I did all of that first. Then I went through and I did my whiteout on the 6 a.m. And instead of putting the skinny washi at 6 a.m., I actually put it over the 7 a.m. because I really know that I'm not gonna be doing anything. And I have these big blocks here, sticker blocks that I put up here to let me know of some really important things that are going on that day to prep for Halloween. So I, I've left that area open and I've got a lot of things that are coming up as I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I really wanted to make sure I left room in case I needed to put any really important notes up here in my planner. Now, generally I don't use this planner for anything other than appointments, but if things start getting really hectic, and I maybe forget my petite planner at home or I forget this one at home, whatever it is, I want to make sure that I am prepared for anything. So by leaving some extra space here, I've got room for extra notes. Yeah, and then after that, I added the thick washi down here at the bottom and I used my slice tool, which is this one right here. And this, I will link this in the description below. This tool is awesome. It's a little ceramic blade. It's super tiny and it is super sharp, so just be careful with that. But what's great about it is that it's, it's, a, it's called a precision cutter and it cuts super, super sharp, but it doesn't cut through to the next page. So you can't even see that I cut on this page at all. So I love that for my planner because of how um, nicely it cuts those stickers, the thicker ones. You know, washi tape, you can use a, like a credit card or something to, to rip it off or the side of a ruler. With stickers like this, you really do need to be cutting them. And I think scissors just aren't as as close to the edge as I like. I like it to be a perfect fit. So I use that slice tool. I love the way it works. I put a couple stickers in here and attempted to do some hand lettering. I'm not great at this. I don't pretend to be great at this. In fact, most times I will tell you I'm awful at it, but I love to practice. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's kind of therapeutic for me. So I put these things in here. I've got a couple things that I need to have scheduled by the end of this week. I need to get these things taken care of. So I've written them in as well. And then once all of that was all set up and done, I added my decorative stickers. So I've put this beautiful trick-or-treat sticker. Now these, these stickers here, these are all Erin Condren and they're all from this sticker sheet. And I don't remember the name of this pattern, but again, I'll link it in the description below. So I put in the trick-or-treat sticker here to take up our entire Halloween festivities. So I make a fun, fancy dinner for us and then we go out and trick-or-treat with our neighbors and then afterwards we actually go to our neighbor's house um, and go through all of our candy and all that fun stuff. And then I added in my Winston stickers. Now usually I save Winston and add him as the week goes on, but it's Halloween week. I had an entire sheet of just Winston in Halloween costumes and I absolutely had to have him in here. So you can see I've got Pirate and Frankenstein Winston. That's, I asked for that one. So thank you very much, Amber, because I absolutely love Frank and Winston. Um, on my daughter's costume day at school, I put this little like mouse Winston here. There's a a bumblebee, a candy corn, and a vampire. So I put them all in here. I have a couple extras so I can add them throughout the week if I want to. But I just, I loved those ones. So I wanted to really, I wanted him in here. And that's pretty much it for my hourly planner for the week. Now all of my to-dos and tasks will go into my petite daily planner, which you can watch that video in a couple days when it comes out. But this planner is really just for appointments to make sure I know what's going on. We've got a lot happening from November to about February. So this is really important. So if you like this video, please hit like. If you'd like to see more Plan With Me videos in my Erin Condren Hourly or in my Petite Daily, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you tap that bell, that'll turn on notifications so you are always alerted when a new video comes out. And of course, for behind the scenes sneak peeks and what I'm working on right now, head on over to my Instagram, at LauraPlansIt. Thanks so much for watching.